Hello, guys, and welcome back to Biz Talk. I'm your host, Tanya Kabuya. And today we have a branding guru. Yay! <laughs> Dana <laughs> or Hana. She's a branding guru and marketing strategist. She's doing a lot of things. And the page on Instagram is filled with a lot of tips on marketing and branding. And I thought, listen here, why not reach out to her? Let us share a secret. It can help one of you, one of, even myself. Like, you never know everything. So I'm so happy you could join us. So Thanks for inviting before me. we start... It's a pleasure. I'm excited. If you can tell, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited because a lot of people don't understand branding. And I had a, a conversation with a friend of mine where she said, um, unless she runs a social marketing campaign, she doesn't make sales. And I'm like, you're not getting your branding right. And she asked, how do I get my branding? Okay. It's frozen a bit. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, cool, because it's just frozen. Um, yes. What is branding? Okay, so first I want to say thank you for this opportunity. Um, and thank you for everything you just said. And I really want to start by saying that, you know, what is actually branding? Uh, there's a lot of time people don't understand what is branding and they all the time maybe think that the branding is just something that belongs to the corporates, to the big companies, but it's not. It actually belongs to each and every one of us. You know, you are a brand, I'm a brand, every one of us is a brand. It doesn't matter if you can have a business or not, but you are mm -hmm. a brand. If you could go to an interview now, let's say now because of COVID, a lot of people find themselves unemployed. You go to an interview as well, you need to learn who you are as a brand so you can brand yourself so you can actually market yourself when you go into that interview so it's something that we always need to bear in mind that it belongs to everyone that's the first thing the second thing is that branding is actually you know it's no longer what we tell other people that it is it's actually the perception that they get from us okay all right and that's why so that's like something we need to remember because i'm going to touch it in a second from a different side but that's something we need to bear in mind that that's how people look at. But basically what they're listening to is to the story. And that's what branding is about. It's a story. And we all have a different story behind us. And it's about time that we're actually going to learn to share this story. And a lot of the time, uh, people maybe think that if I'm not having a very sobby story or something that can get people to burst in tears, so it's not a story. It's not true because, you know, every one of us, you know, life is a journey. We all got to this place now because of certain things that happened to us in life, certain things directed us in a certain way. So why not share it? You know, I can share my story. Some can say, okay, some will say, oh, wow, we'll be inspired, we'll maybe be motivated. And the nice thing that I can tell the story now to so many people, but everyone will have a different takeaway out of it. And that's the beauty of branding. But in order for you to build a strong brand, one of the first things you need to do is actually to get to know yourself. And that's very tough. So for those of you watching, and also for you, Tanya, I'll give you an exercise to do. I'll actually okay. give you. <laughs> Great. So one, yes. So the first one is actually to do a SWOT analysis about yourself. If you want, I can also share with you guys a template. Mm -hmm. uh, also to find and SWOT analysis basically means to write what are strengths, what are weaknesses, and maybe even call it challenges. Um, mm -hmm. What's your opportunities and what's your threat? And that's going to help you just to get to know a bit more about who you are. Because the moment you know, you know what you want to highlight, you know what you want to fix, you know you, what you don't want to share with everyone else. You know you've got it, and you can also ask other people. Um, to actually also write down and give you like three strengths and like three weaknesses. Because for example, if you're procrastinating things all the time, so you're not going to be able to commit with your brand that you're going to deliver things in 24 hours, for example, or like in the upcoming mm -hmm. hour. So you need to know as much as you can about yourself. If you like a person that like very communicative or very visualizing, that's part of who you are. That's part of, part of what needs to come out from you. So that's one mm -hmm. thing for you to do. And the second one, which also gonna help you in building a brand or in defining your message, is that 
think about one thing that can describe you, that can describe you and your business, your brand promise, who you are, what you're offering. Think about it. Do you wow. actually have anything in your mind that you want to share or not yet? Um, what are my strengths? Like, I'm very communicative. I, I, anybody that knows me, I, I love to talk. So that has always been one of my strengths. I easily connect with people. That has been one of my strengths. So I can actually, the minute you were saying that, I actually started doing a thought analysis in my head. And it's so true. It's so true. It's so true. And sometimes, because I know sometimes people just think that a brand is the logo. Like they're just thinking that when I'm developing a brand, they, they concentrate so much on the logo and everything else. And they forget that now you need to share a story. It is. And you know what? It's more than a logo. The logo is just the packaging. It is very important to have a logo. It is very important for the logo to explain and describe what your brand is all about. But it's only the packaging. If you not really know from here who you are, what's your story what do you want to share you know learn what you are trying like and instead of looking and when you talk about people having campaign and it's not working because a lot of time people are doing the wrong campaigns from different reasons but one of them is that they're trying to sell stop yes. selling you're solving a problem and that's a huge difference if you're solving a problem people look at it from a different way angle and like i'll say it from like you know when you uh use linkedin and that yeah. became a trend and like everyone that you start connecting with they automatically send you a message that they're trying to sell you something it's annoying right yeah it is so that's what happens with a lot of the campaigns but if you know who you are you're being authentic you are working on building the brand on a side that you build a community around you you build that relationship you build those connections people get to know you and that's why if you don't know you how can they know who you are if you don't know you, your message is all over the place, and that's what they're getting. So it's like the spaghetti on the wall. You throw the spaghetti, what sticks, sticks, what falls, falls. It doesn't work like this. You want to attract the right people, but in order for you to attract the right people, you need to be clear with your message. You need to be clear with who you are, and just be true to yourself because people are tired from all the fake people out there, from people that are trying to scam them, from people that like, you know, you are in South Africa and people have mm -hmm. lots of fear about things like that. But if you mm -hmm. build relationships the proper way, then it's gonna help you. Like you watching my stuff for a while now, it's not that like immediately you say, let's do it. You've been following me, you're building a yeah. relationship, you see what I'm doing, you see my content, you see my, how people are engaging with me. You get to know me more and more. And that's when you say, okay, I wanna work with this person. Okay, you know what? I want to collaborate with a person. That's how you build it the right way. And another thing that is very important to remember about branding is that it's not a, like a one month project or like an hour project. It's an ongoing project. You always need to work on it. Every little thing you do for yourself and for your business is part of your brand. Every decision mm -hmm. you make is part of your brand. I'm not trying to stress you because uh, I don't believe there is such thing as like a bad decision. There is the decision mm -hmm. that's right for you for that specific moment, and that's mm -hmm. part of your journey in life. But yes. you know, but that's how you need to look at this. And the thing is that it takes so long to build a brand. And look at the big companies. The reason why they're so successful because they keep supporting the brand nonstop. It's Kleenex, it's McDonald's, it's Nike, it's every one of them. All the ones that here, like Coca Cola, all the ones that are here to stay. It's because they keep repeating the same message over and over and over again. They're here to mm -hmm. stay. But it takes a second to destroy a brand. That's and always true. An example of like, you know, like I look at it from celebrities, right? And it's, and sorry, I'm not trying to offend no one, but like, look at it, for example, at Michael Jackson. The entire life he was building himself as a brand. One mm -hmm. thing that happened to him in his life destroyed his brand. True. He'll never get the same glory that he had before. Mm. So even after he died, the brand is still there, but it's not the same brand that he wanted to keep there. You know? That's true. So think about it all the time on what do you do with your brand. If you wait that's not true. Because it is, if you want to have a business, it's gonna be a family business. Maybe that one day your kids will take it from you. So mm -hmm. you need to build a strong brand now. So when you're gone or when you're getting older and you give them to do it, 
you know, they can maintain it. They can keep on growing it. They can keep on getting it stronger and stronger. And that's going to be a hot. And that's what happened to these companies. That's the difference between companies that falls after mm-hmm. a year or two years to those who are here, or here to stay. That's not true because you know what you actually mentioned, like because it's true. I, it's not that I only saw you once and I decided to collaborate with you. And I actually even wanted to go back to the one thing I had previously said about networking because I first saw you on a, in a female entrepreneur group. You had made a post and I was like, huh, okay. <laughs> she, you shared your Instagram page and like I would go on it from time to time and stalk you. Like I was like, okay, she's <laughs> really being insightful. And then that's from there that I got to know the person because obviously the more you share, you share your story, you share that and you feel like you know the person and you're like, okay, this is somebody I would like to collaborate with because I feel like she's sharing a message. She's not coming from a place that she's only trying to sell. She is coming from a place where she's genuinely trying to help people build a brand. So that is so true. When I really believe in it, and you know, and I always say like, don't be afraid to share, you know, sharing is caring. I do believe in it. And you just said it, like, if you watch my stuff, I don't like say every time, oh, just book with me a consultation meeting, do with me, do with me. Like I always put it in the end of the post, but my main content in my post are around sharing sharing my opinion, my stories, how I see things from my knowledge, from my experience. Because for those of you who don't know me, you know, I, so I'm an Israeli, by the way, you relocated to South Africa five, four and a half years ago, getting close even to five. Um, and I came here as a marketing manager for a global company. And that's when I started at one point because of certain things that happened to me in my personal life that I really want to stay in South Africa and that it's my time to share. And that's what I'm trying to do, to share my knowledge from being working for corporate and for big companies for most of my life to the fact that I took my first year of my business to do a lot of key learning and see how I can mix between the two of them, how I can merge between the two of them. And that's how when I'm coming today, I have so much information to share because it's not only like for me having knowledge from corporates, I'm not blind and I'm not in a tunnel vision uh, to how, you know, like when you have a brand like Kleenex behind you, that's easy, right? Because you've got so Mm -hmm. many people on a daily basis. But when you need by yourself to start bringing the followers, bringing the likes, bringing the comments, bringing the clients, that's a hard work. So I also mm-hmm. try this. So now because I have this and this, I can mix it. And that's what I'm trying to share all the time. And that's what I'm trying to tell my clients as well all the time. Share it. Don't be afraid. Everything I'm going to tell you now, you can also find on YouTube, on other channels. You can. The thing is, and that's the nice thing about branding, is that each and every one of us is a brand. And that's why I don't believe in a competition on the mm-hmm. small business entrepreneur side. Because bottom line, we all have our story. We all have different personalities. We all have our character. We all have, you know, I can share with you something that you're going to share now with everyone else. Some will feel a connection to you and some will feel a connection to me. And that's the beauty. People buy from people. And you feel the connection for me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that other marketing people are not sharing similar information to mine. But you feel the connection to my story, to the way I present it. And that's the difference. And that's the second point that you need to remember that if you know yourself and you know what problem you're trying to solve, now you can know who you're targeting. And for your friend, for example, that she couldn't do the, the, the campaign and get sales, it's maybe because she wasn't aiming to the right target market. And like, I can share my story now. If you are my target market, you will understand my story. You will interpret it the right way. You will get the takeaways that I want you to take. And as I said, mm-hmm. Branding is all about perception, right? So if you're my target market, you will have the perception that I'm trying to push you to get. But mm-hmm. if you're not, there is not nothing that I can say now that will convince you. You'll never get the message. And by working with people like this, that are not your target market, because a lot of businesses, what they're trying to do, they try to be everything to everyone. Um, they're finding themselves on a survival mode because they're not planning. So they're trying to get as much money they can to cover their expenses, right? Mm-hmm. And by that, they're also getting so frustrated because they're working with like people that are, it's not working. And also mm-hmm. those people that they work with, sometimes they get like, there is a gap between their expectation to what they receive. So they can actually destroy your brand. 
But mm-hmm. if you have the right target market, the gap between like their expectation to what you deliver is going to be so small so that you can actually cross that bridge and it's going to be okay. And that's something also to keep in mind because target market is something that a lot of people are not defining it. They're not sure who they're trying to reach out to. And I always say, how can you get from point A to point B if you don't know what's point B? Right. You're actually even going now where I actually wanted to go because a lot of people don't have a branding strategy and don't have a marketing strategy. And often they confuse branding to marketing or having a sales strategy. So I wanted to ask you, can you help us differentiate between those three and how to build either one of them? Okay, so it's actually a very good question. So I think marketing is the big picture, okay? Let's say it's like the umbrella and under the umbrella, you've got like cool stuff. But branding is the foundation of your marketing, okay? So branding is who you are, what's your business about, like from, knowing what your brand is all about you'll know your brand identity which is the colors the fonts all the logo the packaging what's the message that's going to come out all of that the marketing mm-hmm. is well on how you can actually execute your branding and share it with everyone else and share that story get that part sales is actually a, it's kind of a mix because what do you mean it's branding what do you mean it's marketing by me marketing myself i'm selling myself mm-hmm. Bottom line, i am selling myself you can some look at me now and say, oh, she's over trying to sell like or some less. And that's fine. That's what branding is all about. That's what marketing is all about. It's all about sales. So it's maybe not. And I think a lot of people are confusing because sales a lot of time. The connotation mm-hmm. is to like that you're selling it like a like as a product or like as you're selling a service. But you are you're selling yourself. And that's why mm-hmm. I say stop looking at it as selling. Look at this as solving a problem. If you, for example, are now experiencing like you're not sure how to how to get more clients, you are frustrated from your business, you not really know how to get more people to listen to your stuff, you're not sure how to increase your exposure, you are frustrated. There is some stuff inside that you're experiencing and you're not sure how to solve it out. Then I'll come and I'll touch you in the sensitive spot and I'll say, and I'll come and I'll say different stuff. Do you feel like you're really trying and you're working so hard on your social media, but you're not really growing the way you want to grow? Or you're not reaching out to the people that you want to reach out to, like something is missing out. And you go like, oh, I also feel like this joy, really, wow. And then at one point, I'll bring some solution in. And say, okay. And we know what this is about people that we're going to listen to my stuff and they can do it by themselves. And you're going to have the people that are going to listen but they will need help. And those are the people mm-hmm. who come for consultation. But bottom line, I wasn't trying now to solve you, uh, to sell you mm-hmm. myself in a way, yes? Mm-hmm. But I was selling you, marketing you my solution to your problem. Exactly. Yes, because obviously you are buying from a place of frustration. People, I always share this, that people buy by feelings, they use their feelings to buy and then justify it with their brain. So you need to get them to feel the exact thing that you need them to feel. And that is so true. Actually, I really see that, girl, you, you are a marketing girl. <laughs> you are because you really just sold today. So one but other before thing. Before we continue, I want to yeah. add one thing to what you said. So in the past, uh, and that's something they teach, like even like that's how the companies work on the big ones. Um, in the past, when you used to do the advertising, you do the marketing, people behavior was that at first were thinking, then they mm-hmm. acting, okay? And then they feeling. So for example, my fridge is broken. I know my logic says that I need to get some new ones. So I'll go buy a new one. And now look at it like, hmm, was I making the right decision? Is it good? Is it what I'm looking for? Does it blend nicely in my place? You know, things like that. Mm -hmm. in the last years more than like the last more than 10 years things have changed and it's like you say people are first feeling then they acting and they then thinking and always remember it's always easy to explain it like uh from the commercials to like products for babies right because they always Mm -hmm. make us guilty are you a good mom are you sure you're a good mom do you want to be a good mom are you doing the best you can for your kids right they really making her feel like Oh, wow, I really want to be a good mom. And then she goes and buy it because she first felt it. She went to buy it. 
And after that, she's thinking, okay, was that the right decision for my baby? Have I made mm -hmm. the right decision? And that's how it goes. So that's how marketing, and that's what think about it more as a solving a problem. Because if you know what's just how to solve the, the, if you have the solution for the problem, see where are their pain points. And that's mm -hmm. when you try, where you try to reach out to. Are they feeling the pain? And that's where you touch. It is what it is. We work with feelings. Wow, wow. You, you, you have dropped some real nuggets, like some real <laughs> nuggets. And let me just quickly um, tell everybody that is watching, Dana does offer some branding um, courses. I saw she has some branding courses, marketing courses, and you can hear that she knows her stuff. She I actually knows just her stuff. Now an Instagram one, Re like a week ago. Oh, How I didn't crazy. see that. I just, because I saw the branding, I was like, I think this is, a, the marketing branding is something I might consider do, taking, because obviously from the way you speak, the way you share what you share on, um, on your platform, if you don't know, um, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it for everybody to check out your page because she really shares a lot. You share a lot, and like really you're not trying to hide. And I'm really offering, if you are not sure and you want to, you're more than welcome to reach out to me on a private message and ask a question and I'll answer. If I can, I'm answering. I am, I, I am a big believer in giving. So and that's true, that's true because even when I reached out to you, I was like, I'm not sure if she's gonna say yes, but let me just, you know, shoot my shot. Let me shoot my shot. If she says yes, cool. If she doesn't, and you responded, you were friendly, you were like genuinely the same feeling that um, somebody will get from looking at your page is the same way you interact with people. And this is what I love. I, I, you are authentic. You are quite authentic with your brand. And, and I think I'm that's what people that. need to stick with. Be yourself, and it's fine if people are not gonna like you. That's okay. Not everyone needs to like me. I learned it. All good. You know, it is what it is, but that's me and that's you. And that's what needs to come out. If people see something that it's not really real, they think it's a scam. They think there's something's going on there and you're going to lose them. So why? Just be you. Yeah. See, I always say that. I always say that. <laughs> I always say that <laughs> there's no point in trying to pretend to be somebody that you are not. Just be you. Those that are for you will like you. Those that are not for you will not like you. And I really love what you did. Thank you for sharing what you shared with us. And I'm definitely going to sh uh, share the, your stuff. And I think a couple of people that I know are definitely looking for things that you are offering. Because a lot, of, I know a few people that are struggling with building their brands, marketing right and obviously growing the instagram presence and you can so also watch my youtube channel there's a lot of content over there there's a lot of videos over there and that's free I, so you just that. posted something today i was like shut she posted it in it, it, it's i think it's in hebrew <laughs> i'm like shut. It's in hebrew and i made it also in english so tomorrow the english is gonna be up because israeli works on sunday and english is on monday so i actually okay. did it today in the morning i made four videos <laughs> Wow, <laughs> you are dedicated because I I I, love, I watched some of your content. I'm like, wow, like that's great. So I was like, sh like today I was like, I hope she. I really hope that you're gonna make it in, in English. I was like, Damn. no, it will. It's gonna be like actually new features that like some that already there a bit, and some that Instagram got back now, and some actually new. So it's very nice. I literally noticed some of them like yesterday because they literally joined like from yesterday or Friday. So I said, okay, mm -hmm. I need to make a quick video of that. Uh, but it is, but I just want to say to people, you know, just be you, just learn who you are, be patient. You know, a lot of time we think that, especially with social media, that solution is going to come and they're going to come very quick. And it's not. Rome wasn't built in a day. Yes. It takes time. Yeah. It takes time to build community, to build relationships. That's if you want to yeah. have a strong brand, build your own community. Build your own group, become their guru, become their good person. It doesn't matter from which, you know, industry you're coming from, what's your business is about. Just be you, just build that connection. If you're gonna build connection, you're gonna stop chasing after people closing deals with you. You're gonna see that maybe like someone listened to you now and they'll come in a month or now or three months or now. I actually had the other day, I actually had it on a Thursday. I was so shocked. Some lady reached out to me. And I couldn't remember her or anything. And then we spoke on Friday. 
And then apparently that I saw her in November in Joburg. And she reached out to me now because she remembered that I do branding and marketing and now she needed the help. And that's how it works. And I was just helping my friends in an exhibition selling like clothing, like leggings and stuff like this. So, you know, that's how it works. You build it. And if you build it the right way, people will surprise you. Then it's going to be like you're building kind of a pipeline uh, like they mm -hmm. do in the right? That they're building mm -hmm. plans in the long run. That's what you're mm -hmm. going to do. Things will start falling one by one. So just be patient, be you, be true to yourself, be clear with your message, be clear with your target market. I also don't mind, I have a questionnaire on how to mm -hmm. define your target market. It's six questions. So I'll share with you the link so you can share with everyone else and you can just download yeah. it. And you're more than welcome to ask questions out there and I'll try my best to answer everyone. Thank you so much, Dina. Thank you so much. You are just a sweetheart. You are a sweetheart. And it was a pleasure. Seriously, it's been, I've been smiling right through. It's been such a pleasure having you. And I'm definitely sharing the stuff. And I'm taking that question in myself. Because, you know, I always say it's you can learn from everybody. You don't know everything. And as much as I do the same thing as you, I always say that you can always learn from somebody else. So I'm, I'm still learning, by the way. I'm still learning. And the nice thing is that I watch other people's videos from different countries. And because I also have a community, uh, a strong one that I build in Israel, I also have people there that brings innovations and stuff. And a lot of the stuff I, I do, I actually listen, I, I take, I, I see. And, you know, that's marketing. If I'm not going to be up to date, I won't be able to do marketing. And that's the True. thing. Like I need, Marketing changing in a second. Like now you have roles, which is the TikTok version of Instagram. Do you know it? Mm -hmm. Are you using it? I'm going to share it in my video tomorrow. I, I, uh, I, I, I've, I've been finding reels very daunting. So thank you for sharing that because I'll watch that video because I've been looking at them like, this feels <laughs> quite daunting. It is. And you're going to see there's other features of how you can support other businesses. And that's the time for us to stick together. All the small business owners, all the entrepreneurs stick together. It's not a time for a competition. There is enough for everyone. And that's the beauty. She can be very analytic and I can be very creative. One person is very analytical, go to her and one person, that's the thing. No one is competing with you. No one is trying to take from you. There is enough place for everyone, trust me. And I see it because mm -hmm. my clients are not only from South Africa, they're also from Israel and Israelis, they relocated to different countries. So mm -hmm. it is, and there is room for everyone, just share. And I do believe in it, like really, like this is, I think coronavirus was a good time for a lot of people to understand that, you know, we are here to help each other. We can mm -hmm. now wait for governments to help us. And it doesn't True. matter from which country you are, you don't know what's happening in Israel. I know as well, but like mm -hmm. in every country, and I've got enough friends from different countries, everyone are in having issues. If we're not going to be there for each other, help each other build a strong brand, support each other's brand, be there, True. share stories. We're the only one who can inspire each other, not the government. We are the one who can inspire each other. Share your story. And I would love you to share the stories with me. And also, by the way, I'll take this, that I also have networking events uh, bi-weekly. So you're more than welcome to join. It's free of charge. It's usually every Tuesday, uh, every second week. Um, and I also share the different topics of marketing. And it's free. And I'm giving lots of information over there. So just join. I believe you also have a group, because I saw some way you posted something about having a group. And I was like, oh, I should join that group <laughs> I think, so on I Facebook. Think yeah, so I've done a group for the networking event. So it's going to be easier yeah. that all the events will be there and the link to Zoom will be there. Mm -hmm. And once the group will be even a bit bigger than it is now, everyone will be able to introduce themselves so you can build that connection. Uh, I'll give you another tip for everyone here. Use the groups of Facebook as a marketing tool. And for example, and I'll share it, my new Instagram course, um, I've built it and instead of selling it on different platforms like I did with the rest of mine, I'm selling it on that group. Mm -hmm. So basically I've built a group. I created a group on Facebook. The course is there. Basically the mm -hmm. video the course is there. Once mm -hmm. you're gonna basically pay for that course, you're getting inside the group, 
you're getting the course and you can watch it as many times as you want whenever you want and also a place for people to come and ask questions so that's how you build your own community so if you got some course you want to sell do it like this if you have lots of content that you want to share do it in a group the groups are also getting um, much higher exposure versus business pages okay versus, like in the algorithm if you look at it so that's like mm -hmm. one of the tips that i want to give because it is focus on the groups building relationship answering people's questions just being there that's what's going to help you stop getting inside to these groups that you're just posting an advert and you're living out because the same as you posting the advert coming out that's what everyone else is doing so basically no one really watches your advert that's so why if I'm using those groups, I'm using it to promote videos because that's a different type of content, but not to advertise my business. Wow, thank you. Thank you for that tip. That is a very important tip. Because <laughs> in reality, that I think that's how also I found you because you answered somebody that asked a question about marketing. And then I saw your answer. I was like, oh, okay. Let me just check this name on Instagram. And that's how I ended up on your Instagram. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so the, the, basically, I'm just giving a testimony to what you just said that is true. It's so true. So use it. It's a free tool. I'm always laughing. I'm still Jewish and Israeli. Whatever you can do for free, I'll teach you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. So thank you, Dana, for today. Pleasure. It was such a pleasure. And um, to everybody else, I hope you enjoyed this conversation. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.